Hi everybody, it's uh, Jules again, and uh, welcome to another video. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually install um, your Google Sniper um, WordPress blog, and I'm also going to show you how to get themes for it and some plugins as well that are going to help your blog um, later on when your Sniper site actually rank in the search engines. Okay. Now, the only sort of prick reside. Uh, thing for this video is that you have a uh, hosting account um, and if you don't then I just suggest you, you head over to um, google.com I mean there's no point in me going over it because it's just such such an easy thing you know there's dozens of videos and thousands if not vid videos on YouTube on how to you know register a domain and, and um, actually set up a hosting account for free so I'm not going to you know, waste your time in this in this great course on doing that. But if you don't know, just head over to Google.com and search for, you know, um, how to um, register a domain and set up hosting. Okay, and there's dozens of companies you can do it with as well. Okay, now for those of you, the vast majority of you that have already got a hosting account, etc., um, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress right now. Okay, so we're in the actual C panel of our hosting account. Okay, and there's loads of options here. You can register new domains, etc., etc. This is where you get all your FTP details and stuff. Now, all we're going to do is first of all, you need a um, hosting company that has cPanel. Now, basically, all of them do, so so I wouldn't worry about that unless you go with some really obscure provider, which I don't recommend doing. If you go with one of the major ones, you'll definitely have this. <coughs> Now all we're going to do is just going to scroll down here to uh, software and services it's called and this is going to have a whole bunch of stuff, simple scripts, site builder, Fantastico Deluxe, WordPress. Now in the old Google Sniper I recommended using um, Fantastico Deluxe, however now it's, um, well, it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a lot easier. Okay, so all we'd have to do is click on WordPress, <laughs> believe it or not, okay, um, it redirects to simple scripts. Okay, and then once we're on this page, all we're going to do is we're going to head to the bottom of the page and click install, which is going to install a, a brand new version of WordPress. Okay, so after you've clicked install, you're going to, um, the, the first time you install it, you're going to arrive at a page just like this. Uh, the first option is going to be uh, which version of WordPress would you like to install? And you know, I always just get the latest one, so 3.0.4 in this case. Um, the next thing you're going to have to decide is what domain would you like to install WordPress on. Now, if you've only got one website, one domain um, on your hosting account, you're not going to have any problems here. If you if you've got more than one, you just click that, and that's going to have a drop-down menu of all your different domains. You just select the the correct one. Um, and then you've got a little box here where you can select a directory for your uh, sniper site. Okay, so for example, here you know, I've just put in a, a domain of mine here, imsuperstars.com. If I wanted the blog to be on imsuperstars.com forward slash sniper site or something like that, okay, um, I'd fill in something there. Now, for your website, for your sniper sites, you're not going to want to do that because your website is going to be. Um, www. you know keyword. com. Let's just say it was how to lose weight fast. It would be www. how to lose weight fast. com. Okay, and that's where you would want your actual sniper site to be. You don't want it to be. You don't want someone to arrive on how to lose uh, weight fast. com, and that for there to be nothing there, and for the blog to be on forward slash you know blog or forward slash sniper site. Okay. Um, so you're basically, don't worry about this, you're just going to leave this blank. Now for this example, I am going to put something in there. Um, I am actually going to put sniper site. Okay. Um, but you, you leave this blank. Okay, you just select your domain here and that's it. Um, the next thing is advanced options. And if it's not showing this, just click on uh, show advanced options. And you're going to give your site a new name. Okay. Um, and this is where you're going to put in the keyword of the of the blog. So let's say um, let's just run with that keyword. I mean, I don't know what the, what the competition is or anything like that, but let's say it's how to lose weight fast. Okay, that's what we'll call this um, particular site. Okay, now this is where you'll put in um, 
yeah, basically the, the keyword title and maybe you know something else like reviews of top weight loss products, something like that. Okay, um, but that's up to you. You can just put in the keyword here, um, but we'll talk about that later on in the guide. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to pick a username and a password. Now, what I recommend doing here rather than having admin is having like um, you know your actual name. So I'm going to put in George and I'm going to put a password of uh, well, I'll fill that in in a second. <laughs> okay, um, automatically create a new database. That's exactly what you want. You want to accept the terms and then you want to press uh, complete. Okay, I'm just going to fill in the password here. Okay, uh, press complete, and now you can see it's actually it's got a little bar there, and it's installing WordPress uh, onto the directory that we've named. Okay, and now you can see uh, installation complete. Okay, so if we go here, if we go to this URL, you'll actually see. Uh, you see the blog, okay. There is the, our sniper site has been created, um, and then if we go into the login URL, which is always for every WordPress blog, it's just your blog uh, forward slash wp dash admin, okay. And I'm just going to fill in some info here, okay. To log in for the first time, you enter your username and your password. And I'm going to hit remember. <laughs> And this is going to log us in to our brand new um, uh, sniper site. Okay, now we're going to go on to how to actually create posts and, and pages and things like that for your sniper site later on. But right now, all I want to do is just show you how to select themes and uh, a couple of plugins that you're probably going to want. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click install themes. Okay. Um, and well, there's a few different ways to go about looking for a theme. You can select uh, specific features and things like that, or you can just click um, featured. Okay, this is going to pick on some some random sort of featured themes that a lot of people like. Um, and now the theme you choose is going to be important, and I'll talk about that later on in the uh, in the pre-selling uh, chapter. Okay, often I use the blank uh, WordPress theme actually. Um, but as we go through here, you can see loads of different themes. You can click uh, preview, okay, and you can actually preview the theme on your blog to see if you like it or not. Um, now, this one I've always actually quite liked. Okay, um, it's a very simple theme, very search engine friendly, which is obviously important. We want our site to rank in the search engines. Um, so for example, let's just install this theme. So we just go ahead and click install, install now. Okay, and then you just hang on for a minute. Okay, and then you're gonna click uh, activate, to actually activate this theme on your site. Okay, so just give it a second. And what it's now doing is actually putting this theme as the active theme. Okay, now now you've got a whole bunch of um, options here. Not all themes will give you this, but some will. Um, you know, for this one, for example, you're going to have to change the logo and things like that. But just to show you quickly that it has in fact changed it on the website. Okay, here we go. And this is now what our, our sniper site looks like. Okay. Now I recommend you actually don't pick a theme with that has an image here, because then um, you're going to have to create an image every time, and it's going to affect the search engine optimization of your site. So um, while this is a great theme and a great looking one, very simple, I would actually recommend um, not picking one with a logo here. So perhaps would not recommend this theme. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is how you install the theme. The next thing um, we're just going to look at is how to actually. So this is what the site used to look like, okay? And then you know, a few clicks of the button, and now it looks like this, okay? Um, the next thing we're going to want to install is some plugins, okay? And these plugins are going to help the search engine ranking of our site, 
and are also going to be useful for a couple of other things okay okay so by the way I should probably mention that this used to be a heck of a lot harder okay you used to have to actually go to the WordPress website find the themes find the plugins download them from there then manually upload them to your blog directory from the FTP hosting and everything like that and if it sounds like a mess it's because it really was and it was really difficult okay WordPress with the recent changes have made it a heck of a lot easier so as you saw installing a theme and finding a suitable one you know took less than a minute the same with the plugins okay now there's only a couple of absolutely essential plugins we want there's loads available um, and you know some are really useful some are less useful but a lot you know can help out with your site um, but there's only two really essential ones that are really going to help the um, the search engine ranking of our site. So, okay, help it rank higher in Google and thus get us more traffic and thus, you know, hopefully make us more money. Okay, so we click uh, add new plugins here. Um, and then you can actually search the plugins by name here. We're going to get the all in one SEO pack, is one, and we're also going to get Google XML sitemaps. Okay. Um, but an easier way is they're both very popular, um, partly thanks to the original Google Slide, where I recommended those plugins, um, and they went from being, you know, particularly the XML sitemaps one is not super well known to being very widely used on everybody's sites, um, and partly because, you know, everyone just uses them, because why not, because they're going to rank a lot better in Google. Um, so if we just click popular, we'll find them, you'll pretty much always find them both there. Okay, so here's the all-in-one SEO pack. Now, what it says here: optimize your WordPress blog for search engines. Just type site for search engines, etc., um, etc. Et um, all we do is click install now. Want to install this plugin? Yes, I do. Okay, we've done that. Now we're going to um, activate the plugin. Seems to be fine. Oh, it must be configured. Yeah, that's what that message says there. Basically, after you've installed your, oh, your all in one SEO one, you have to go to the admin page and actually go ahead and configure the plugin. And that is something I'm going to show you in a later video. Okay, don't worry about it for now. Just, just all we got to do is install them for now. Okay, so now we're going to go and add the uh, other plugin. Okay, click add new. And Going to click popular and we're going to head down to Google XML sitemaps. Okay, we're going to click install now. Oh, well, this is going to generate a sitemap that helps uh, search engines like Google find all the pages on your site and just generally helps with your search engine ranking. Once again, we're going to click uh, activate plugin. Okay, and now you've got all your plugins installed got a new theme now when choosing your theme obviously I recommend you spend a lot more time doing that and I'm going to discuss that in a later video so the theme of your website is going to be quite important to your conversions but essentially we've installed a new WordPress result. we've now got our sniper site we've now got a good looking sniper site and we've now got plugins that are going to help our sniper site they're very basic plugins mind you but they're a very small part of um, the overall search engine optimization of your sniper site, okay, that's going to help it rank in Google. So we've um, done lots of things in this video. I highly recommend you do all this stuff, and then head back to the manual. And I'll see you in the next video.